morning. Welcome to GSC Live Mornings. It's Friday, May 29th, day 77 in this stay-at-home, stay-safe time together. Um, I wake up this morning to a very troubled world, a very troubled nation. As if the pandemic hasn't been enough, now we have um, riots in the streets. Um, and many of us are asking why. Many people are frustrated. And many people are maddened. And believe me, everybody's mad. Um, what do we do about that? What do we do? Um, a friend of mine dropped off some coffee mugs the other day, and I picked up this one this morning, wondering what am I going to say about this? It's a coffee mug depicting tools. <clears throat> this friend of mine knows that I have a lot of tools, and I love my tools. <clears throat> and one of my hobbies is to engage my creativity with my tools and see what happens. Years ago, I took one of those personality inventory tests and it revealed that A, I'm, I have a high sense of responsibility coupled with a desire to fix things. And that can be dangerous because that can occupy you beyond your means um, to feel responsible for everything and try to fix everything. Uh, but it's become my hobby to fix things, especially when it comes to actual tools like this, tangible tools like this, and tangible prob problems uh, to fix. I love fixing things. And what I love about that is because I can engage my own sense of creativity, which I have a fair amount of, uh, with tools to face a problem that there's no known fix for. There's no manual or not even a Google uh, video on how to fix. And uh, that's my hobby. It's kind of a strange hobby, but I love that. But this morning, as I wake up to the social, societal, public health problems that, that we all face, um, you know, I'm, I'm simply baffled again. Uh, believe me, my creativity has been on full alert, uh, trying to figure out how to. Uh, fix things. It's part of who I am. I'm going to turn to Psalm 27, verse 6. It speaks to where I'm at being baffled, and perhaps you too. Even now, my head is lifted up above my enemies who surround me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifice in the sanctuary, sacrifices of rejoicing. I will sing and make music to the Lord. I found this short reading by somebody, this short writing by somebody. Um, it goes like this. Music has always played a major role in my life. Some of my oldest memories involve music. My mother taught me to play guitar and to sing and introduced me to Motown. Music has seen me through the lowest lows of my life and celebrated the highest highs. Despite all this, there have been times when I lost the will to sing. Like many of us over the years, I have suffered from a few bouts of depression caused by stressors associated with life events. For me, losing the will to sing is like losing the will to breathe. That's when I know something is really wrong. So to hear our psalmist sing while surrounded by enemies is baffling to me. Now allow me to read this short poem by Maya Angelou. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown, but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom still. Maya Angelou, the caged bird. Is what we're hearing what we're seeing, the singing of caged birds. There's a lot to ponder today. I invite you to pray. Your own words, 
Um, there are times when I don't have words uh, for prayer either. Maybe just sit with the Spirit today. And think about caged birds and how they sing. And we wonder where that song comes from and what that song will do. God bless you all.